Now let's create a very simple game of guessing the right number from a computer generated random number. This game will illustrate how to use the con counter control loop in a game. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that bell to get notified of my upcoming videos. Okay, the game will ask the player to guess the a secret computer generated number between 1 and 100. The player is allowed only to 5 chances to guess the right number. For every guess, the game will give a hint whether the not guess number is lower or higher than the target number. The game is over after 5 wrong guesses. When the guess is correct, a message will appear confirming the win. Now let's start with importing the random library so we can generate a random number. So I need the code for that. Okay. Then we generate random integer numbers between 1 or including 1 and 100 to guess and store the number in the variable random number. We also display a message that we have generated from the number. Okay. Now we create a variable for our control or counter control loop and call it number of guesses. This variable will determine when to stop the loop. Set the value of this variable to zero. So we have a variable called number of guesses. Well, another variable is for the number the player guessed. We have to store what the player entered and well, what do you know we will call it player guest number and give it an initial value of zero so we have player guest number the while loop says that if number of guesses is still less than five the loop continues. Now you may ask why less than 5 and not equal to 5? And the answer to this is because the variable number of guesses is initially set to 0. When the variable number of guesses reaches to 5, this value sets the while condition to false, which results to the termination of the loop. the player to guess the number and store the number in the variable player guessed number. Take note as well that input function always returns a class or type string. Now when we compare integer and string we will surely get an error. To fix this we convert the input into an integer using the function int. And our For every guessed number, we add 1 to the variable number of guesses, which counts the number of guesses the player makes, to keep track of the number of guesses the player makes, of course. So we have number of guesses plus equals 1. Now it's time to check if the guest number is the same as the computer generated number. So we have an if your guest number is equal to the random number we generated. 
Now we print the message, you guess it, if the player guesses the number. This also means that we have to stop asking for more guesses, which also means that we need to terminate the loop. And based on our while loop condition, when the variable number of guesses reaches 5 or greater than 5, the while loop will terminate on the next attempt. So then we set the variable number of guesses to 6. You may ask why 6 and not 5? We will answer that question when we get to the point where the loop has terminated. So we set the number of guesses. Six. This is to force our loop to stop or terminate. Well, alternatively, we can use the break. We can use the break keyword to terminate the loop. However, in my opinion, setting the variable number of guesses to six is the more logical approach when terminating this particular particular while loop. So you can use the break, but we're coming it up. Okay. Now, if the player or if the guess was incorrect, we need to know if the guess is higher or lower then the computer generated random number and print the appropriate message. So use the L if I guessed. Is get that is if the player guessed a number higher than the random number. Now what if it is lower? So we have an else and we print the appropriate message. Now that's just about it. When the loop terminates, one of two things have happened. One is that the player guessed the computer generated random number correctly or the player ran out of chances. In this case, we need to display the appropriate message depending on how the loop was terminated. We need to know if the player used up all the chances to guess the number and to know that, we have to check if the variable number of guesses has been reached, which is 5. So we have our if number of Then we display the appropriate message. Now, to answer the previous question, why six and not five? Here's why. If we set the variable number of guesses to five, at the point where the player guessed the correct computer-generated number, we will be displaying the inappropriate message here. To avoid this, we set the variable number of guesses to any number greater than 5. 6 will do. Lastly, we reveal the computer generated number and conclude the game with the usual phrase, game over. Okay, now it's time for us to run the program. T. Your guess is higher than the number. Higher and it's 30. It's higher. It's still higher. So I'm trying 20. It's still higher. I'm trying 10. Still higher, so I have the last guess. Let's say six. This is higher, so number three. 